Hey guys, my name is Rix and welcome to This is uh, the video that I promised on TikTok because I know a lot of you are asking me questions about how to become an English teacher here in Japan. And now the time has come at ito na ang video for all of you. If you are a foreigner, if you are not Filipino, well, I'm gonna put the link of our company's website. But if you are Filipino and you are interested to know the application process, this video is for you. Just for a little background, I started working as an ALT 2019 the application process back then was different because it has been like four years maybe that's why today I have a special guest and a very special friend of mine she was my classmate back in university if you are ready let's start oops hold on for a moment so it will only take one second of your life to click that subscribe button down there please click it help this fat boy grow his channel i'm gonna give you three seconds to click that subscribe button there please so three two one thank you so much by the way this is the part one of our two-part video series about the application process on how to become an assistant language teacher so please enjoy it fresh from shiga prefecture i'd like you to meet a very special friend of mine miss jen all right there you go Okay, Mom Jen, thank you so much for accept, accepting my invitation. Pleasure is all mine. To start off, guys, our the agency where we applied is Chesham Recruitment Agency, and I'm gonna put the link in the description box so you can visit it there. Uh, para if you want something specific, you can check their website. Lahat po nanduna. It's very comprehensive, so really, really helpful. So she will be the one to share the application process because she's really fresh, you know, here in Japan. At kararating niya lang last March 2023. That's right, March 2023. And this month is just July, so how many months? Four? Four months. Four months. Four months. So that's right, okay. So very fresh pa, no? And siguro yung process, I still fresh pa for her. But. A little disclaimer, this video might not be the same application process for everyone because it might change anytime. But you can still watch this video for reference so that you have a guide or maybe set an expectation on what it is going to be once you start your application as an ALT. So if you're ready, let's start. First, siempre, very important, who are you? Sino ka ba? I'm Jen Sensei and I'm also an assistant language teacher here in Japan. Um, where in Japan are you currently working? I'm teaching in Shiga Prefecture, particularly in Takashima. If you don't know, Shiga is the prefecture before Kyoto if you're coming from Tokyo. Do you want to share any of your social media accounts with our viewers? Wow! You have a TikTok account, right? I have, but that's for my spoken poetry yeah, yeah, yeah. pieces. Sure. You can follow at CathartikMe sa TikTok okay. or my Instagram. Misbehave. Kung meron kayong additional questions, syempre, you'll put it in the comment box. But if you want something personal, oh, just send her a message. Alright, thank you, Miss Jen. And let's repeat, when did you arrive in Japan? I got here last March 18th, 2023. So this is like my fourth month officially. I see. Yep. And how's life in Japan so far? So far, I think... I'm still in the honeymoon phase. And still by adjusting. honeymoon phase, you mean? It's still fun. Still fun. <laughs> still ah, so fun. Still fun. Let's start with the basic requirements for this uh, position. Jen, what was your college degree? Since we are classmates, I finished Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in Literature, English Stream. And by profession, we are? Teachers, English teachers. Right. So we finished a double degree program. Yeah. So my BA kami and my BS idin kami. So we are uh, by profession teachers and we used to teach. Uh, I used to teach senior high school students and elementary school students. Back in the Philippines, Miss Jen, what was... Uh, what was your job in the Philippines? I also used to be an English teacher. I taught senior high school and high school students, but when I left the Philippines, I was a school principal. Mm. School principal, bangis. Just like what we shared, we are teachers by profession, and with that, one of the most important requirements is
Okay, don't forget that. If you are a teacher, pero ito po yung kahit licensed teacher ka or if you have an advanced degrees in English. Pero kung yung course nyo po ay yung sa mga na-mention, sorry to say, this is from the agency po. Um, ba, hindi po nila ma-accept ang inyong application. We taught English guys, kaya pasok kami sa another requirement wherein you must be currently working in an English language teaching position in a classroom, online, or one-on-one -on -one setting. Okay, so the following will also be considered positively but are not actually required. A TESOL, TEFL, RSA, or CELTA certification. And a professional teacher license. But you don't have to be a licensed teacher to apply. For as long as you, I mean your college degree is pasok sa requirement and my English language teaching experience ka at nagtuturo ka ng English while you are in the process of application, pwede ka. Chesham would accept your resume. Ito na po, mag-start na po tayo sa application process natin. Uh, question number one, when did you send your resume to Chesham? I did send my resume to Chesham as soon as I got my driver's license and that was January 2021. During pandemic? Yep. Ah, I see. January 2021. In my case, I sent my resume October October of 2018. But then, uh, Chesham did not accept my resume because I still didn't have my professional driver's license. Uh, Non-pro, sorry. Non-pro, non-pro. Non-pro driver, driving license. Bakit mahalaga yung driver's license? Because uh, there's a high chance that you might get assigned to work in provinces just like Jen here. And Jen, bakit kailangan? Because you'll be assigned in the province and most of the time um, yung trains are not very accessible mm -hmm. and walang masyadong bus. That's why? And that's why they will provide you with a rental car. Mm -hmm. Which is for me I think very convenient. So ayun po. Kailangan niyo po ng driver's license kasi kapag sa probinsya po kayo na-assign, you need to drive a car to go to your schools. Okay, but since I work in the city, we just have to go to our schools by train. So, mas madali siguro sa case namin. So, kung pasok yung college degree mo and then my English teaching experience ka at my driver's license ka, Chesham would accept your resume and if you're initially deemed suitable for the position of an ALT with Interact, you will be invited to a free, very comprehensive ALT orientation seminar conducted by Chesham. Iinbitahan na po nila kayo to attend the free orientation seminar. Jen, how was the ALT orientation? Back in the Philippines, mm. yeah, I sent my application January. I got the response after a few weeks, yeah, yeah. which was scheduled for March. So we had it three months after, I think, two months after. It was very, it was very comprehensible. Like the handout that they gave us, it's like, it's not just simply read to us. It was explained very well. And from then, you would know if you really want to push through with your applications. Like, uh, they, they do the, uh, the orientation for you and it's not non-committal. It's still up to you if you want to push mm -hmm. through. And they entertain questions very much. They like it when you ask questions. So I think that was the best thing that the agency did for us. Like they, they did this orientation and which, yeah, explained a lot of things. What mm -hmm. to expect here, what, what not to expect here and so on and so forth. If I'm not mistaken, that was during pandemic then. Yes, was online. it online? Yes, everything was done online. All right, I see. Everything was done online. And who did the orientation? The director himself. The director. Okay, in my case, that was 2018 something, and the orientation was in person. I went to the agency in Makati, and the orientation was really, it was not boring. It was so fun. It was so fun, it right? Was so it was fun. so fun. Despite the, it being online. Just a little tip, you guys. Uh, when talking to the agency through email, 
of course, make sure that you're using proper grammar and yeah, your punctuation and just be, <laughs> just prove that you deserve to be an ALT right from the very beginning of your application. Yes, trust me, they will respond to you or to your group in like a group email and they will not call you out but you would know that someone's getting corrected for some yeah parang hindi hindi yung resume mo na original mong gawa ang isesend mo yeah exactly when they give you the format no questions asked just follow what is in there it's so easy to to follow anyways wala kang idadagdag na kahit anong iba doon kasi kapag may binago ka babalik din nila sa iyo next gen after the orientation what happened since it was online after the orientation tapos na ba agad or did you do something else I think after that we were given like many readings hand another Handouts. another group of handouts that we have to read and then everything um everything followed the rest of the documents that needs to be submitted immediately started then it's mm. like like I said it's non-committal so after the orientation if you feel like all the documents that they will need will cost you like hindi ko kayang gawin hindi ko kayang ibigay no problem but after the orientation yun ka na kung, kung gusto mo na talaga the soonest you can submit everything that they need the better in my case since it was in person after the orientation we, uh, we had a lunch break and then after that we had our English test immediately? yeah uh, we, we had it I think on a different day it was scheduled on a different day a different online. call. All, everything was done online. The only time we met, just for the, the record, the only time we met was like days before our flight. Only then. Everything that needs to be submitted to the office was done like t through courier. And if you want to send, send it yourself, you can. But the only time we met like in person was the day, the last day before our flight. When they gave us all the other contracts and paperwork that needs to be returned to us in person. Mm -hmm. That's it. Pero paano yun? Like online, uh, test pero online? Yes, uh, it was in a Zoom call I think. Tapos uh, parang one-on-one. -on -one. Hmm. Interview? Interview and the English test. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, the English test, there was like... Um, link? Yeah, it's it was a there was a document like there's a question you choose to answer. Mm -hmm. Parang then of course you parang essay ganyan. Yeah. Tapos ano siya? Live. So parang naka-share screen ka, you'll type your answers and all. Just so they will be sure that you're the one typing it and that you're not, you know, using chat <laughs> GPT or whatever. Right, right, yeah, right, that's how right. it went. And it it was one-on-one. -on -one. Tapos mm. parang mga 10 minutes lang. And madali lang din naman yung tanong. Ang titingnan lang the questions? I think one question was, uh, who who would who is your life hero? Something like very random question, very random. very random questions. But of course, it will test your English proficiency. And mind you, the even the commas, <laughs> periods, punctuation marks, like um, tenses and everything. They will yes. Test. Do they need to review, pa? I don't think so. Yeah, kapag English teacher ka na, hindi mo na kailangang review yun yan, you know? Parang, it's expected of you. Actually, the test, I mean, during my time, it was easy. And there's an essay part. There's an essay, yeah, yeah. The and one, random question. Yeah, the one I was talking about was the essay part. Mm -hmm. There, There is a, a multiple type test. I think it was a 20 item test. Grammar. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, verbs, whatever. Mm. <laughs> Pronouns. Basta grammar, guys. Mm. Alam nyo na yan. <laughs> 20 items lang siya, A, B, C, D. Tapos right there and then they will tell you if you pass. Like, ano yung mistake mo? Mm -hmm. Ano yung error? I think out of the 20, I got 18. <laughs> I had two Eight. mistakes. During my time, uh, we had to do it in person. So, meron kami test paper. Yeah. And pinasa namin. And then, chinikan din yata agad. Mm -hmm. Nung mga agents, mm -hmm. nung agency. And then after the test, Jen, uh, in my experience, we had the interview yeah. right after that. Yeah. So in your case, what was the interview like? The interview was very light. It was like really they were asking how I learned about the agency, how I learned about the company, how I learned about the opening in general. And of course, I told them, ah, I actually have friends or actually, and that was my ticket. Ha. Thank you, friends. I did tell them that I know people, classmates, former classmates in the university that are ALTs. And then, parang yun yung ticket ko. <laughs> Nagkwentuhan na lang kami after. Wait, who interviewed you? Miss, the director himself. 
also there's another like one agent and then during my time it was also the uh, director and syempre face to face kami in person then and i was really nervous <laughs> yeah i think even although most of the siya, questions are like yes or no questions yes. most yeah most are yes or, or no questions tsaka no nothing really too much of like hindi siya pang miss universe hindi siya super ganon mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. kasi what they really want to test you is yung ano mo yung comms mo talaga yung communication ano mo skills mo yeah guys so you have big uh, sa interview part since if yung director yung magi interview sa inyo he's very particular about your accent exactly. If you are to ask us if you need to like practice or review anything, I don't think so. It just, siguro yung ipo practice mo yung skills mo. Pero don't overdo it like search for questions that they will ask you tapos mo practice ka ng bonggang bongga. Kasi ang tendency yan ng magpapa stiff sa yo ng dila mo lalo na kapag sasagot ka na kasi hindi yun yung inexpect mong tanong or worse. Ano nga ulit yung kinabisado ko? Ano nga ulit yung script ko? Ganyan. Just be natural. Just be natural. Yep. Yeah, I don't remember the director asking me questions like what's your why weakness? You? Why should we hire you? Like that. Yeah, yeah. Wal- walang ganung mga tanong guys, yung mga common job interview dito sa Philippines. And then after that, ito na yung mga magagandang ano part, ito na yung pinaka-challenging part. So after the orientation, we had the uh, interview and then accent test. Yeah, accent test was easy. So the director would ask you to read a script about the company. It's like one paragraph only. And then after you read the, that script, if hindi okay yung pagkakabasa mo, or let's say yung accent mo medyo thick, no yung Filipino accent mo, papa ulit niya yung part na yon. And then he would give his comment, a uh, general comment about uh, about your accent test. So kung okay ba, ano yung saka magi improve like points of improvement mo, ganyan. Also, they will give you a copy of the script beforehand so you can practice as well. Tapos, uh, in my case, it it was in a Zoom call again, one-on-one. So I had time to practice first, at least in the mirror. Tapos, I think I recorded myself and sent it to you and some of our other friends. Just so I, I know kung ano yung kailangan ko pang ayusin. And then during the test itself, after I have read it one time, meron siyang binanggit lang na medyo may maling pronunciation ako or parang matigas siguro sa sounding niya. Because I had my braces then. So, hindi naman niya kapinaulit. Mm. Hindi niya naman napinaulit. But it was it was easy. Yeah. And then, the... Demonstration teaching. Sa time ko ha, orientation, English test, mm-hmm. interview, and accent test, it all happened in one day. Mm-hmm. And then after that, kapag nakapasa ka na do sa mga yun, uh, Chesham would send you an email uh, about your schedule for your teaching demonstration. Mm-hmm. So kung kailan ka, normally it's after a month mm-hmm. or maybe two months, ganyan. And then they would give you link. At nasa website din nila yung mga sample uh, demonstration teaching. No? So, panoorin yun. I'll show the picture here. Ito yung mga sample demo no, na gagawin nyo. And sa teaching demo, there are four parts. Yeah. Four parts. Task one is Jiko Shokai. Jiko Shokai is self-introduction. Task two is the script. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna do the script again. Yeah, the one you video. did for accent yeah, test. Yeah. And then for the third one, you're gonna do the warm-up. Yeah warm up song or whatever activity you are planning to do and then the actual lesson proper is the task 4 until evaluation part na yun mm, yep. yeah. how was your demonstration teaching demo experience like i said everything happened online mm. so we were asked to like submit the videos in a particular drive google drive uh, on a specific date mm. so you have to do it i think we were given roughly 3 weeks to do it mm. but you have to make sure that you do it in a quiet place. A quiet place. 
Mind you, in the Philippines, may tricycle, ano? may wala pang lato-lato nung time na yon. <laughs> I thought it was easy, okay? Because you're gonna record yourself mm. and you're, you can do it any, like you can retake it unlimited, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero nakakapagod siya kasi you want, you would want to perfect it, right? Mm. You would want na walang mistakes and everything. Mm-hmm. I did. An idiot port. <laughs> Pero naka Manila paper na nakapost, hawak ng kapatid ko like that. Overall, I think dun ang pinaka nahirapan ako among all. Mm. Of course, was the, is the last one kasi yun na yung full blown teaching yeah. eh. And ay, ito pa pala guys, meron siyang limit. Mm-hmm. You have to make sure that you submit your video. Paalimbawa, yung Jiko Shoka is just one minute. That should be in one minute. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-exceed doon. Yeah. Tapos yung isa, two minutes, ganyan. So, so yung last, I think it was a three, it should only be a three minute video. And hindi mo siya pwedeng isubmit ng may edits. Wala pong ano dito, walang edit-edit dito. It should be raw. Hindi pwedeng lagay mo ng text na task nyo. Sasabihin mo lang, task one. Tapos, mm. Parang sa website. Yeah. Ganun. Like, mm. yung visual aids mo lang talaga. Since we did it ng video, we were just reminded na we, you don't need to do that. Dapat yung role lang talaga. And ayun. Uh, sa case ko naman, it, nung sinabmit ko siya, hindi naman na binalik sa akin. So, ibig sabihin, it, it, it was okay for them. But in my, in the case of my friends, nung mga kasabay ko, yung daming pinaulit kasi yung isa very obvious like may pumasok tapos nagtuloy lang <laughs> Oy, I, sorry guys if you're gonna watch this may dumaan sa likod dead ma lang siya tuloy-tuloy siya pero pinaulit yun kasi very 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 ano sila doon why? why? in your case I'm not sure because I think you did it in person right? but in our case they kind of send it to whoever will be your possible uh, uh, Branch, mm, branch office, here, maybe. yes. But during my time, it was in person, so we had to go back sa agency. And merong maliit na room doon, guys. Para siyang small meeting room. And then, doon mo gagawin yung demo. Yeah, all of all those four tasks. And then, yung agent yung mag-re-record sa'yo. So, syempre, ikaw, hindi naman perfect agad. Unang salang mo, perfect, no. Mabubulol ka. <laughs> <laughs> Matatawa ka, makakabahan ka, maganyan. So, syempre, yung agent, siya yung nagre-record, pindot na naman, pindot na naman. So, parang yung agent na nag-ano sa akin, parang, bayan, ano na, medyo pissed off na si ma'am noon. Kasi, ma'am, sorry, ulit ako. Ma'am, ay, sorry po. Ganyan, kamali ako. And then, one good thing is that, kapag may napansin silang mali, or feeling nila hindi magiging okay, sasabihan ka na nila. Like, sir, ulitin natin tong part na to kasi parang hindi maganda yung pronunciation mo ng word. Just for the record, we don't mean na maarteng English. Mm-hmm. Hindi ganun. Um, yung diction kasi na hinahanap nila, dapat clear. clear, maliwanag talaga sa pandinig. At hindi yung parang kinakain mo yung sinasabi mo. Yung maarteng English. Kaya guys, that's our tip. no? Uh, when it comes sa uh, demonstration, teaching, uh, practice more. And they, it's not that they don't like Filipino accent, ha? don't get it wrong, pero need nila ng someone with neutral accent. Like parang American accent siguro, lastly, in a way. Lastly, careful with your intonations. Careful mm. with, like for example, kasi tayo diba, as teachers in the Philippines, meron na tayong habit ng taas baba, taas yeah, yeah. baba nung ano natin. Mm. Lalo yung pagbate, ganyan. Pag para ka nang umaawit, meron ng ano doon. Dapat natural yung sound nung ano. Nung, ah, yeah. Yung alam mo yung albawa, ano ba yung mga example ng mga ganyan? Yeah. Uh, naalala ko, um, ang example dyan ni director is, sabi niya, ayaw niya ng good morning. Yeah, ayaw niya ng good morning. Good morning. Oh. Yung mga ganyan. Yung ano lang, yung natural. Like, good morning. Mm, good morning. Good morning. That's what he wants. Pag parang good morning. Good morning. Ay- ayaw niya nun. So be yung formal. Habits, yeah, yung napa, yung mga habits mo sa class. Pag mundalin dun sa ano, sa demo. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. that classroom setup here is very different too. Yeah, that's right. Pero actually, you need to be like that. Mm. Dito sa Japan. You have Kap- to be very genki. Lahat mm. ng enervon dalin mo. <laughs> Kasi, <laughs> Mo siya. Lalo na kapag magtuturo kayo ng grade 1, grade 2, elementary. grade yan, mga elementary kids, good Last morning. Last tip, don't hesitate to give and do big gestures, like stretch out your arms. Like, 
hello like that like turu turu ganyan ganyan and then after the demo let's go to the other uh, difficult thing to do which is the processing of documents Thank you.